Katie here from Vibe. Today I'm going to walk you through our lasso tool. Now this is not a brand new feature, but we did come out with some enhancements last week and so I wanted to do an updated video to show you all the things that the lasso tool can do. Now, first and foremost, what I like to use the lasso tool for is if I'm drawing, sketching, designing, and I change my mind about where something might be on the canvas. To use the lasso tool, you're going to find it about midway down on the toolbar. It looks like a circle made out of dotted lines. And when you're using the lasso tool, you simply need to lasso the selection that you want to move, and then you can adjust it and kind of move around anywhere on the canvas. The enhancement for this feature is now you'll notice that there is a square with little white dots in the corners. And so that can be used if you want to resize your selection. There's also a little arrow in the right hand corner and you can use that if you want to rotate um, what you've missed and used as your selection. So that can be really helpful if you want to kind of tilt and adjust. Other things you can do with the lasso tool is you can actually cut that entire selection and then paste it by doing a long press to paste it anywhere on the canvas that you might want it. And you can also just hit copy if you want to create, you know, maybe duplicate options for that and paste it wherever you want. So you can paste it to another page in that canvas or paste it to an entirely new canvas if you want to you know, bring uh, one part of your concept to a completely different canvas, for instance. Other way you can use the lasso tool is if you want to move a group of objects. So for an individual object like an image, a sticky note, or a text box, you can use your finger or your stylus to just move those around and resize them accordingly. But if you need to move a lot of stuff, the lasso tool can be really helpful. So if I want to rearrange a lot of sticky notes or resize a whole group of sticky notes, you can use the lasso tool for that. Same thing with the smart shapes. So with the smart shapes, you can move things individually, but if you want to move your whole diagram somewhere else, the lasso tool can be really helpful for moving groups of objects. Um, I think that's it for the lasso tool. Thanks so much for watching and hope you have a great weekend.